finally, there has been a ruling in favor of the DMK's plea that Mr. Karunanidhi be buried at the Marina Beach, right alongside his mentor, Anna Durai. And those are the first reactions of the DMK leaders that are coming in just as that news breaks. The hearing in the High Court, it's been an all-night tense affair, a battle of nerves as the state government appeared to resist that request. And you can see emotional scenes there, emotional scenes, MK Stalin, as well as other leaders of the DMK breaking down as that news comes in. Sam Daniel Stalin, are you with us? And if so, what are you hearing? That's right, Mr. Basu. Well, we're just hearing officially from DMK lawyers inside the Madras High Court that the Madras High Court has allowed burial of late Chief Minister, former DMK Chief Karnanadi along the marina. And uh, the nitty-gritty we are yet to hear, but it's a, certainly a huge victory for the DMK. And in a sense, a huge embarrassment for the ruling AIADMK. Yesterday, the Tamil Nadu government had denied a spot for late DMK Chief Karnanadi to be buried at the at the Anna Memorial along the marina, citing that there are cases pending in the court. This morning, all the petitioners had withdrawn their petitions challenging construction of any memorial for anyone along the marina. There was a heated argument both by the DMK lawyers and the Tamil Nadu government's advocate general. Ultimately, the court has now ruled that there can be no bar on burying late Chief Minister Karunanadi along the marina inside the Anna Memorial. The Tamil Nadu government had strengthened its case this morning by arguing that only those chief ministers who died still while at office were given a spot along the marina, citing leaders like Anna Durai, M.G. Ramachandran and recently late Ms. Jai Lalitha. The DMP argued there is no law that says only those chief ministers who die as chief ministers ought to be allotted space along the marina.